and breaking it out. And remember, from a financial statement perspective, uh, from a finance perspective, we can rewrite this accounting equation to assets minus liabilities equals equity. Therefore, equity is kind of like to us, the owner, the book value of the business. That's what the value, the business, the equity in the business, like equity in your home, you might be familiar with that term is, is, is the value of the home minus the amount that the bank that you owe the bank for the mortgage. That's what the net value is. Same thing here, assets, what you have minus the liabilities is the equity, but that doesn't tell me anything about performance. How did I get to the equity? How did I get to this point in time? That's what the income statement is. So we have to break out the equity. And typically what we do is we say, I'm going to have the balance sheet side of equity, which you might call for a corporation retained earnings or for a sole proprietorship owner's equity or a partnership account, multiple capital accounts, which is, is actually the most difficult one to kind of uh, keep an, a handle on because you have to track multiple partners in a different way, even more complex oftentimes than a corporation in many ways. But then we also want to check performance, which is the income statement. So on the income statement, sales revenue increases equity because that's going to increase the net value to us and expenses are going to decrease equity because that's going to be a, a reduction in the net income. So in, in essence, the income statement is going to break out part of equity looking at the activity.